folks welcome back today is a beautiful day not only because it's a weekend but also because the sun is shining and we've now had the maple syrup season get well underway what we got going on today is i'm out mulling around checking on my taps and collecting some firewood that tends to be what i do in the spring i get the last of my firewood in using the snowmobile and i fill in any remaining time doing the maple syrup so the taps are turning on today it was probably about negative 10 celsius last night and today I think we're up to a high of about five Celsius. So that's perfect temperatures to get things going. It's still kind of early in the morning, so I don't expect the taps to run right away, but uh, let's just have a look and see how we're doing here. Yeah, that's pretty dry. Usually these ones here, which are south facing, they tend to get some sap early in the morning. If you guys have a look down there, it's full of ice. Anyways, that's not quite full yet, but uh, we're going to be optimistic here. Anyways, let's go over and check on some of our others here. Let's see how this one's doing here. Well, it's still dry, but as you can see, we got a little bit of sap from last night. And uh, you can see it's covered in ice right now. Let's see how this one's doing. Yep, still dry. So uh, that's sort of the name of the game. We, uh, we basically have to wait for it to get warm enough after the evening, or after the night rather, so it can uh, start dripping, but I think we're in for a really good run today. So while I wait for that to happen, I'm gonna take you guys over to something that I've been working on. <clears throat> Just, snow's getting a little soft here, keep breaking through. So, whoa, what I've been doing over here, as of yesterday, I just came through and I started cleaning out some of the trees that are dead standing. As you can see, I'm in behind my shop here. So I have a bunch of trees, kind of a variety. And if you look, there's a big dead white pine there. And this was probably a, a balsam fir at one point, but I have a whole bunch of trees in here, quite a diversity. Many of them are dead standing. So I'm just cleaning them out right now and uh, that's what I'll use for my firewood. So why I brought you over here is I'm gonna load this stuff up, and when I'm done loading that up, I'm gonna show you how I get it out of here. And you guys are probably saying to yourself, gee, he showed me this before, I know all about it. He loads it in the sleigh, <clears throat> hauls it out of here with the snowmobile, and that's the end of it. Well, you're right, but the other thing I'm gonna show you is how I have adapted this thing. This is a Pelican Trek. 75 so this is the 75 inch long the largest pelican sleigh i'm going to show you how i adapted it and made it so when i get this thing loaded it doesn't tip over because the terrain around here isn't exactly flat so bear with me I'm going to load up this wood here hopefully that doesn't take me too long then i'll show you how i get this thing all secured so i can haul it out of here without rolling it over All right, so we're all loaded up here. So before I take off, I would hate to have this thing tip over because there's nothing worse than loading this thing up twice, especially when you're out in some deep snow. So what I've done is made a few modifications to this Pelican sleigh. And what this, uh, what this basically does is gives me secondary line of defense so that this thing doesn't lose the load all over the trail. What I did was I took a three quarter inch drill bit and you can see I put a few holes here, put one there, there, same thing on that side, there, and at the very front. Now, in order to make it so that my the end of my uh, hooks fit in nicely, 
you'll notice that I can't just put it in the hole because it, it kind of gets kind of gets stuck on all these ridges and so what I did especially on the ends where I secure it most of the time I put a little piece of rope and then what I do is just before I leave and it takes about two seconds I uh, run a ratchet strap if it wasn't frozen <laughs> there we go I run a ratchet strap to secure the wood and all this does is when I get to a part where I get to, when I get to a part and the trail is a little uneven this prevents the top of the pile from wanting to fall over easy and uh, this has saved me a few times now there's a second thing I do and it comes down to the pieces of wood that I choose to pile in here uh, the second thing I do is I leave a few pieces a little longer than I normally would so I try to make them approximately you know the width of the sleigh and I try to position them so that if this pile was to lean this log which is longer you can see it over there this log would touch the top of that sleigh and prevent the whole pile from flipping over so it would sort of lean onto the top rail on both sides and assuming you got the strap on it'll help the pile from tipping over so I normally do that maybe at the front and one at the back kind of forgot to put one there but uh, really does help and it just makes it so the pile is less likely to tip over I've had it tip over and as I said nothing worse than doing this twice especially when the snow is a few feet deep so that's just about it for that one I'm gonna get this load out of here and if you're curious about the specs of this sleigh as I mentioned 75 inches long I believe if I'm not mistaken actually I think I wrote it down if I'm not mistaken 31 inches wide and then about a 15 inches deep so definitely a very solid sleigh and just if you're curious how much use this has had this has had a lot of use by me I use it predominantly to haul stuff and uh, even in our negative 30 celsius temperature this thing really stays flexible and takes the abuse so this thing I believe is rated for approximately 500 pounds of weight I can tell you I've hauled more than 500 pounds of wood in this thing and this hasn't even flinched so get the hitch for it get the sleigh you can get a cover for it and you guys will have a perfect setup to get wood or whatever else out of the bush anyways let's uh, fire up the sleigh sled rather and see if we can get this out of here nice feature this sleigh comes with these runners and they're replaceable these things have really held up well they're I don't know what the material is but they're really durable as you can see I don't run a lot on roads or anything but running out here on the trails and the odd rock really holds up nice and that's it time to repeat
Well guys, despite this being, you know, kind of like work, it doesn't really seem like it because there's not too many other places that are as beautiful as this in the springtime. As you can see behind me, the sun's shining, the birds are starting to chirp, we're getting out of winter, and I'm getting into my maple syrup. So life is good out here in the bush. I'm gonna clean up the rest of this wood here, not much more to go. And before long, I probably won't be even on the snowmobile, I'll be on something else, so better get this work done. Anyways, appreciate all you guys watching. Make sure to come on back next time. I'm sure to be boiling that sap before long, and I hope to try out that new evaporator. So, as always, thanks again, folks, and I'll see you then.